and hello to you all. Welcome to the final part of our first ever Child Amazing 2015 mini series. And what better way to end our mini series with our salute to our favorite characters with a special cartoon character tournament in which one of them will win $100,000 towards the journey of their choice. So without further ado, let's get the show on the road. So, let me introduce myself. My name is Paul Sagamon, and I'll be your color commentary for the entire Cartoon Character Tournament. And let's start things off with the Land Before Time's Littlefoot, Oshawott, and Typhosion. As we present the opening round of our Cartoon Character Tournament. So, it's best luck to our 48 Cartoon Characters on the tournament. Please start the race! Okay, here we go with our first race of the opening round. It looks like number 7 as Lee, followed by number 8 and number 2. It looks like Oshawa has the best position so far with 4th place. And it looks like number 1 is going to rest. So he will be left behind in the crowd. And it looks like number 7 is going to join number 1 for dear life. As the first superstar gets Beavers on the cartoon counter tournament is in fact number seven. His strategy worked and now he's back in the lead. I don't think anyone can catch up to number seven in a hurry. It looks like number seven is going to wind up in first place. So this race will go to the next back standing. There he is jumping up and down. Next place belongs to number eight. Now will be another 10 second place. And in third place, Oshawa holds on type version to become the first winner of the opening round. What a deal. So the Sea Otter from Pokemon Black and White moves on to the round of 16, having a shot at $100,000. And now let's head straight over to race number two, featuring three more Pokemon. We have Mudkip from Omega Movie and Alpha Sapphire. We have that Porcupine looking Pokemon, Sand Slash, looks like ground type to me. And we have Dark Ride who was the title character in Pokemon The Rise of Dark Ride. That's the type of movie in the Pokemon series. So, let's see what happens here. Everyone is on the clock, and let's rock this place! Alright, here we go again! This time we have three Pokemon up for grabs. Right now, number six has to leave, followed by number seven and number eight. And it looks like Dark Ride has the best position with four plays. And number two is going to rest, so he will have a lot of catching up to do after his nap. The free child, meanwhile, are doing a okay at the current moment. And who will get the opening toss this time around? It's number one, that's Sue. And he's going to leave the competition in the dust. I think he's going to wind up at first place. Yep, number one's going to wind up with first place. As you can see, jumping up and down. And who got the next big buzz? It's number six. Wow, he got all of that one. And he winds up in second place. So with third place, it's going to be Sand Slash, who holds off Mudkip and Dogfly in a hurry. Congratulations to Sand Slash, and thanks to Mudkip and Dogfly for all their support. But we're just getting started here, folks. We'll be right back with more of the opening round after this. So don't go anywhere. So, if you're just tuning in, we're just getting started with our Jow Raising 2015 Contra Canada Tournament. I'm Paul Sycamore, and thank you for joining us. And for race number three, we have Squirtle, Chespin, and Quetzal from Dragon Tales. Let's see what happens here. Good luck to these three characters on a quest for victory. And let's have a Chow Raise! Alright, here we go. It looks like Quetzal has the lead, followed by number 6 and number 7. The free shell pushing your balls near the side. It's a superstar who has the best position, regardless of the standing, who will move on to the round 16 to have a shot at $100,000 later on in the tournament. Right now, the free shell are pushing your balls near the side, and we're going to have our opening toss in just a matter of moments. Who will get that opening toss? We're about to find out right now. The first superstar against Beepus is number one. That's the second race in the row that number one has won the opening toss. And he will wind up in first place again. 
So it will go to the next backstabbing. If no one else gets the speed boost, Katsu will hold off Chessman for the victory. And Katsu holds off Chessman for the victory. No speed boost for me. So, so Katsu moves on to the Valor 16. They earn us off for the Dragon Tales franchise. Great job by Katsu. Thank you, Squirrel and Chessman, for coming to the tournament. And right now, let's present race number four, where we have Lugia, who was a star in Pokemon the Movie 2000, The Power of One, as he takes on Swampert from Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Final Evolution of My Kid, and Piprop, the one starter in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Good luck to these three players, everyone is on the clock, and we start the race! Alright! Here we go! It looks like Lugia, the flying child from Pokemon 2000, has the lead, following in a close second by number 8. Which one each child will have a shot at victory? We'll find out soon enough. And it looks like number 7 scoring the rest again. He's gonna be behind again. And what's gonna happen here? Number 6 is taking a nap! So what's gonna happen? Find out the free child have reached the outside on the rainbow path. And it's number seven who wins the opening toss. That's his second time that he's got the opening toss for this race. And he's going to wind up in first place. That means this race will go to the next back standing. And that will be Swabber and no one else gets to speed us. And Swabber does it. Swabber holds off Lugia and Pippa for the victory. So he moves one step closer to the... Hundred thousand on Cherry Jack. He moves on to round sixteen, and we are back with Snobby, our favorite lesson after this. Do not go away. Okay, next up we have our favorite Pokemon of all time, Snobby. Plus the shy pink dragon Cassie from Dragon Tales and Tudrick, the grass type starter from Pokemon Diamond Po. Everyone is on the clock. And please start the race! Here we go! Let's see what happens this time around! It looks like number 6 has to leave, followed by number 7. Cassie, the pink dragon from Dragon Tales, has the best position so far with third place. Or with a free chow at the current moment. The free chow are pushing the balls to the other side of this famous rainbow path. And who got the opening toss this time around? We're about to find out right about now. It's number one. So for the third time in the last four races, number one has won the opening toss for this race. And he'll wind up in first place yet again. That means this race will go to the next back standing, which is going to be decided by Speedbus. Hatry pulls off Cassie for the victory. He winded up in third place. Number six came in second. So in third place, Hatry pulls off Cassie with that speed burst. And that's even move on to the round 16. Great job, Hatry. Okay, let's see what happens in race number six. We have Issa the Iguana from one of my favorite Spanish language shows, Dora the Explorer. Along with Diwa, the mid evolution of Oshawott. And Meganium, the final evolution of Chikorita. So good luck to these three ladies, and let's pop this place! And it looks like number 8 is going to rest, so he will be left behind on the crowd. By now, it is number 7 who has the lead. With Issa the Iguana from Dora the Explorer, my favorite Iguana, Issa, has the best position so far with second place. Which one of these three girls will move on to the next round? We'll find out soon enough. As the first superstar gets speed best, it's Diwa, the mid evolution of Oshawa. Oshawa move on to the round 16, and it looks like it's mid evolution. Diwa is going to move on as well. Yep, Diwa holds off easily for the victory. As Beginia will take the next command speed best, she'll wind up in second place. Diwa secures an easy victory. Oshawa advance and D1 advance. True goal power, by the way. And it looks like Issa the Iguana will have to settle for third place. 
So D1 adds the slot for the Pokemon franchise, and we are right back with more. We have Nidoran Female and Tepig. So don't go anywhere, the fun is just getting started. Alright then, time for lucky number 7, race number 7, between Nidoran Female, Squirt from Mike the Knight, and Ruby from the Land Before Time television series. Alright, let's see what happens here. Let's have a jury. So who will be the next one to move on to the round of 16? We'll find out soon enough. Right now it is an Nidoran female who has the lead. Following in a cross second by number 6. And it looks like number 7 is going to rest. So he will be left behind on the crowd. And now number 1 is going to join number 7 for dear life. As the first superstar I guess beat us is number two, and he moves up to the lead. He's gonna lead the other competitors in the dust. And he's gonna wind up in first place. So it will go to the next backstanding. Right now, it's a battle between Nidal and Female and Squirt. As the next viewers we may buy, number eight, you wind up in second place. And it looks like my just a few inches. It looks like Squirt is going to barely hold on Nidoran Female to move on to the round of 16. That was an incredibly close finish. Squirt barely hold on Nidoran Female by a, by a couple of seconds. What a deal. And now it's time for race number 8. And we'll be halfway there after this race. It will feature Tepig, the fire type starter for Pokemon Black and White. Bayleaf, the middle evolution of Chikorita, and Nidoran Mail from the Kanto region. Everyone's on the clock to pull up to these three Pokemon and please start the race! Alright, let's see what happens here. It looks like number seven is in the lead and number six is going by so he will be left behind the crowd. Right on the superstar with the best standing is Nidoran Female with second place. And now number two is going to rest. That means number six will be that means he will be joining number six for dear life. Right now the free child pushing the models to your side. And who got the only toss this time around? We'll find out soon enough. Who will get the only toss this time? It looks like number one will get the opening toss this time. And it looks like and it looks like he's going to rest. But I think he'll still finish in first place. So I think it goes to the next back then, yeah? Number one finishes in first place after a snap. Bailey with the next beam ass, but it looks like Nero Mill is gonna hold off her to move on to the round 16. Wow, another incredible cross finish. We'll be right back with second half in a moment, so don't go anywhere. Man, what a contest! Alright, we're out of our halftime break. So race number 9 will feature one half of our favorite two-headed dragon, Zack from Dragon Tales, as he takes on one of my favorite Pokemon, Toad Out, my favorite water type, and Elmo from Sesame Street, Elmo's Well. Everyone is on clock, and please start the race! So who will be the first in the second half to move on to the round 16? We'll find out soon enough. Looks like number 2 has the lead. With Toda, my favorite water type Pokemon, having the best position so far with second place. And it looks like number 7 is going to rest, so he will be left behind the crowd. Right now, the free shower pushing them all to your side. Only one of them will move on to the round of 16, and we'll find out exactly who will get that chance. As the first superstar gets B Bros on the second half of the opening round is number 7. He, he took home the overtime in the first half, and now he did again in the second half. And who will get speed bus number two? It's Zack from Dragon Tales! And he makes a pass from number seven, and he moves on to the round of 16! Great job by Zack! Number seven came in second place, and Toronto came in third. So Zack moves on to the round of 16. He has a shot at $100,000 later on. In the round 16. Thank you, Tono and Elmo, for being part of us, with us today. And now we have race number 10, where we have, ooh, the mighty Sork. As he takes on your figment of your imagination, 
along with Baby Bob from Bonnie and Friends. Alright, let's see what happens here. Good luck to these three characters on the quest for bin 3, and let's rock this place! Okay, let's see who's gonna move on to the round 8. Right now it looks like number 6 has to lead, with Baby Bob having the best position so far in second place. Baby Bob loves to hop, and she loves to race too. But will she get the win? We'll find out soon enough. Right on the free job, pushing the balls to your side of the rainbow path. Pushing balls, and it looks like number one is going the best. So he will be left behind in the crowd. And in just a one or two, we'll have our opening toss for you. Let's see who's going to get it. Who's going to get the opening toss this time around? It's going to be, oh, Zorak! And Zorak is your winner! Great speedrunners by Zorak, the master of illusions. Thank you, Thingman and Baby Bob, for all your support. And who will get the next command speedrunners? It's number eight. And I will do it. So the mighty Zorak, master of illusions, moves on to the round of 16. Coming up, we have Servine and Trico, but first, let's have a word from this sponsor. Alright, welcome back to our Cartoon Character Tournament here on Channel Racing 2015. And next up, we have Servine, the middle evolution of Snivy, or Minute Arena, the middle evolution of Nidoran and Female, and Stitch, from Lee Warren Stitch. Good cool luck to these three characters. And let's rock this play! Okay, here we go. So who will be the next one in the round of 16? Only time will tell. Here comes the free child busting down the line, uh, pushing the balls to your side. It looks like number 7 has the lead, followed by number 8 and number 1. Right now in the best position so far is Stitch with 5th place. Right now, the push your balls to the outside. And it looks like number six is going to rest. So he will be left behind in the crowd. As the first to the side gets beat, this is number one, who's also going to rest. But he woke up immediately, and now he takes first place. I think he's going to hold on for the lead, don't you think? As number two takes the next beat, best, number one takes first place. And Nino Rina with second place is your winner. Thank you, Servine, and you wonderful Stitch for all your support. It's been a pleasure having you here. The arena, we'll see you later on in about 16. Congratulations on a job well done. Alright, we'll be three quarters of the way now after race number 12, which will feature Trico, Cyndaquil, and Zora. Alright, so it's the Wood Gecko taking on the Fire Anina and that Black Cat. Alright, here we go! Please start the race! So who's the move on this time? We'll find our setup. Looks like the Black Cat Sora has the lead. Followed by number 8. Three Chower closing in on each other at the current moment. All three Chower neck to neck, pushing the balls to the other side. These three Chower closing in on each other. And it looks like Trico's going to win the opening toss. He's going to leave the competition behind. There's no way Trico's going to get tailgated here. Trico moves on to the round 16. Congratulations to you, Trico. Let's see what he else will stand. The next few we may buy, number 8. And he will wind up in second place. Alright. And it looks like Zora will wind up in third. Yeah, thank you, Cinequa and Zora, for all your generosity and support. And Trigo will be back in our round of 16 at the end of the show. We'll be right back with more. Do not go away. Okay, next up tonight, we have Wheezy, the purple half of the two-handed dragon. We all know and love for Dragon Tales. Along with Minnie Mouse and Bulbasaur, the first Pokemon ever to be discovered in the series. Alright, we start the race! Here we go! Who's gonna win this one? We'll find out soon enough. Right now, number 8 has the lead. 
with Wheezy, up to the two-headed dragon from Dragon Tales, having the best position so far in second place. These three are pushing the balls to the other side. Who's gonna come up on top? We'll find out sooner. And it looks like number seven is going to rest. And now number two is joining him. As Bulbasaur I will win the opening toss for this race. I think he's gonna move on. Yes, indeed. Bulbasaur land wins by a landslide. The first Pokemon ever discovered takes home the victory. And now he moves one step closer to the $100,000 charity check prize. And it looks like number seven will have the next command speed us. That'll be enough to take second place. Minnie Mouse will take third place. Thank you, Wheezy and Minnie Mouse, for all your support. And Bulbasaur, we will see you later on for the round of 16. Alright, now we're in race number 14. Which features Sceptile, the final evolution of Trico, the official host of Disneyland and Walt Disney World, and all the Disney parks, Mickey Mouse, and Kulava, the mini version of Cinequil. Good luck to these three men, and let's rock this place! Alright, and it looks like number six, number seven, and number eight are all going to rest, so all three of these child will be left behind on the pack. By now, it is Koala who has the lead. Mickey Mouse, no, it, the host, is in second place. And Sceptile is in third place for the pack. And now, number one is going to join the other three for dear life. As he will get the winning toss for this race. So now he moves up to first place. The three are closing in on each other. Who got the next speed bus? It's number seven. But that's only going to be enough to take second place. Number one's going to wind up in first place. That means number seven will wind up in second place. And I think Mickey Mouse is going to move on. Yep. Mickey Mouse pulls off Kulava and Sceptile to move on to the Battle 16. The whole stuff Disney has done it. And we will be right back with the conclusion of the opening bound after this. Do not go away. Okay, only a couple more races left in our opening round. Next, we have the Blue Dragon Orb from Dragon Tales. He's big and friendly. And we have Petrie, the Pterodactyl from Lamy for Time, and Crocodile, the middle evolution of Toradal. Please start the race! Alright, so only a couple of races left in the opening round. And right now, we're focusing on Orb, Petrie, and Crocodile. Right now, number six has to lead over the eight chair of the Kermit. And Petrie, I think, has the best position so far with second place. But that could change in a matter of moments. Who's going to wind up on top? We'll find out soon enough. As the first superstar gets beat, this is Crocodile, the mid evolution of Toradal. And he wins it. He got all that on that one indeed. So he moves on to the mile 16 with that landslide speed bus. Unbelievable effort by Crocodile. It looks like Petrie's going to want him in second place. And Orr barely passes number 6 for third place. Thank you Orr and Petrie for all your support. And Crocodile will see you later, later on in the show for the round of 16. So all that's left for the opening round are Grovile, Combuskin, and our favorite purple dinosaur, Barney. Who's going to wrap up in the round of 16 play? We're about to find out right now. Everyone is on call to go up to free you, and please start the race. Here we go. And it looks like number 6 has another commanding lead. Right now, it is Barney who has the best position so far with second place. Right now, the free child are pushing the ball to the other side. This will determine who gets the final spot in the round of 16, which we'll proceed to the next segment afterwards. Right now, the free child are going to push the ball to the other side. And who will get the opening toss for this race? 
any minute but now we should have opening toss. We're about to have it right now. It's number two who gets the opening toss. And he got all of on that one. And he will want him in first place. So it will go to the next back standing. I think Bonnie's gonna barely hold on Grover by just a few inches. Yep. Bonnie of Rubber Dinosaur is the last participant to move on to the round 16. Thank you, Grover and Kabuski, for all your support. Bonnie, we'll see you later on in round 16, and we will have a round 16 when we come back, so don't go anywhere. Alright, now it's time for the round of 16, and we're pretty sure it's going to be active. So, yes, the opening round itself. So, first up tonight, we have the Sea Otter Oshawa from the Pokemon Black and Pokemon White. He is the water type star in the Universe version, versus Sand Slash. The Pokepine look like from Kanto. Good luck to these two Pokemon on a quest for victory. And let's have a challenge! Alright, here we go with round 16. And it looks like number 8 is going to rest, so he will be left behind in the crowd. Right now, number 2 child pushing balls to your side. Number 6 has to leave, followed by number 5 in second place. And it looks like Sand Slash has the best position so far with, I think it's going to move on to second place. Yep, number five is going to rest. So he will join number eight for dear life. As the first to the I guess, Beepus is Sand Slash. He got all of it on that one, and he moves on to the round of eight. He is the first participant to win the spot in the round of eight. Congratulations to the Sand Slash on a job well done. Let's see what Oshawa will finish as the next speedbus we may buy. Number 6. Number 6 came in second with that speedbus. So Oshawa will have to settle for third place. Thank you Oshawa for being part of our cartoon character tournament. It's been a pleasure of having you here and your generosity. At Sand Slash, we'll see you on later for the round of 8. Until then, please get plenty of best. Alright, let's see who will join Sand Slash in the first round of 8 semi-final. Will it be Ketzel, the Yellow Dragon Teacher from Dragon Tales, or will it be Swampert, the final evolution of Mudkip for Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? There's only one way to find out. Everyone's on clock, and please start the race! Here we go! So this race will determine who will face Sand Slash in the first round of A play. And it was like number 6 has to lead a cover moment, followed by number 2. And it was like number 8 is going to mess. By now, it is Ketso who has the best position so far with third uh, place. Ketso and Swap are pushing the balls to your side. And the first superstar to get speed bus is number five. So he's going to leave the competition in the dust. Wow, he didn't have to go to bed right this early. He kept on going, and he will want him in first place. That means it will go to the next back standing. Which is going to be decided on the speed bus right there. Swapper with the speed bus beats Capsule for the victory. So now the Pokemon has two spots in a round of eight for Sand Slash and Swampert. Capsule will come in third place. Thank you, Capsule, for all your support. Swampert, we'll see you on the round of eight. Why not? Here's one for our sponsor, and then when we come back, we'll have more Sash for you in the round of 16. Alright, time for the next space, featuring Turtwig, the grass type star from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, and Dewop, the mid evolution of Oshawa from Pokemon Black and White. Good luck to these two Pokemon on a quest for victory, and please start the race! Here we go! So, won the next slot go to Turtwig or Dewop? We'll find out soon enough. And it looks like number 5 is going to pass. And now number 2 is going to pass. So numbers 2 and 5 will be battling for D-Line left behind. Right now number 8 is in the lead. And it looks like Turtwig has the best position so far with third place. As the first to start to get a speed bus is number 7. Who was going to pass, but he woke up immediately. And number 8 is going to pass. So you will join numbers 2 and 5 for D-Line. As number 7 will wind up in first place, that means this race will go to the next back standing. 
I don't think we'll get speed less in time. Turtwig should hold off D1 for the victory. Yep, he's gonna win right there. Turtwig wins as number six. Barry gets the next speed bus. Turtwig holds off D1 for the victory. Thank you, D1, for all your generosity. And Turtwig, we will see you later on in the round of eight. And now, let's find out who will face Turtwig in the second round of eight semifinal. Will it be Squirt from Mike the Knight? Or will it be Nidder and Mail? There's only one name to find out. Everyone is on the clock. So without further ado, let's have a chow race. Alright, here we go. We have another spot up for grabs in the round of eight. But right now it looks like number two is in the lead, followed by number six and number seven. And number five. Number eight is the fourth. Number seven is the fifth. And so far it is Squirt from Mike Knight who has the best position with sixth place. Squirt and Nino and May are both pushing him on your side. And who will have the first command on the speed bus? It's going to be number five, just as he was going the best. So number five will move out to first place. And he is going to wind up in first place right over here. There he is, jumping up and down. As the next speed bus will be made by number seven. He is going to wind up in second place. I think Nino and May is going to hold on squirt for the victory. Yep, looks like with third place. Little Red Mill holds our squad for the victory. So now, Pokemon is 4 for 4 in the spots for the round of 8. Pokemon is on a hot streak still, and we'll be right back with the second half of round 16 after this. Do not go away. Okay, so all of the spots in the round of 8 so far are Pokemon characters. Will we continue in this next race? We'll find out as Zack from Dragon Tales takes on Zorg, the master of illusions. Good luck to these two characters, and let's rock this place! Alright! So, right now, over here, number 7 has the lead, followed by number 2, number 1, and number 8. It looks like Zorg has the best position so far with 5th place. Here comes the chow, busting down the line. Will Zack stay alive for Dragon Tales? Or will Zorak keep up with the Pokemon Dynasty? We'll find out in just a matter of moments. These two chow are really fighting for the 100,000 on Cherry Check. And we'll find out which one will get that chance. As the first Superstar gets Beavis is number 6. And he will wind up in first place. So it will go to the next back standing. There he is, jumping up and down. I think Zorak's going to keep up with the Pokemon franchise's hot streak. Looks like Zack won't be able to get Speed Bus in time. Number one takes the next Speed Bus. So Zorak wins with second place. Zorak, the master of illusions, does it again. Thank you, Zack. It's been a pleasure of having you here. We love you to the biggest moon and back. Zorak, we'll see you later in the next round. Have fun. So, Pokemon is now 5 for 5, and we're really going to make it 6 for 6, because the next two participants are Nidomina and Trico. So let's see who will join Zorak in the third round of in semi-final. Here we go, everyone is on the clock, and we start the race! Alright, so it looks like number 6 is going to have the lead this time, with Nidomina having the best position so far, with second place. Trico coexists in third place over the two Chow. And here comes the Nidorina and Trico. They both want a shot at the round of eight. And it looks like number one is going to rest. So he will be left behind on the crowd. And then just a one or two will have our opening toss for you. Let's find out who will get that opening toss for this race. Who's gonna get that opening toss? It's gonna be number two against the opening toss. And that will be enough to take first place. There he is, jumping up and down. Right now it's gonna be a close one. I think Trico is gonna hold off Nidorina for the victory. Yep, Nidorina won't get speedless in time. Trico gets the victory as number seven gets the next command on his speedless. Trico wins over Nidorina. Thank you, Nidorina, for participating, and we'll see you later, Trico, for the next round. 
coming up, we have the remainder of the round of eight. But first, have a look at this. Wow, every slot in the round of eight is Pokemon so far. The only not Pokemon characters we have left are Mickey Mouse from Disney and Bonnie. Let's see what happens here. Next, we have Bulbasaur taking on Mickey Mouse. Please start the race. All right. So we have Mickey Mouse taking on Bulbasaur. Right on number two is in the lead, followed by a close second by Bulbasaur. And it looks like number six is going rest. So he will be left behind in the crowd. And number one is going to join her for dear life. He's also taking his news. And who will get the opening toss this time? We're about to find out right now. It is Mickey Mouse! I think he's going to move on next round. Yep. Mickey Mouse has done it. See, Disney is still in the game. Thank you, Bulbasaur, for all your support. So Disney is still alive for a 100000 on charity check with Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse will see you later on in the show for the round of eight. Number seven came in a second, and Bulbasaur will have to settle for third place. So Mickey Mouse has advanced to the round of eight, but what about our favorite purple dinosaur, Bonnie? Well, let's send her over back to the starting gate right now and find out. It's Crocodile versus Bonnie the Purple Dinosaur in the last space of the round of 16. And then we will proceed to the round of 8. So it's best of luck to our two remaining round of 16 participants in the round of 16. And everyone's on the clock, so without further ado, let's have a challenge! Alright, so Mickey Mouse has advanced, but what about Bonnie? We'll find out soon up. Right now, number five is in the lead, and number six is going to rest again. So he's going to be left behind for a second time in a row. And it looks like Crocodile has the lead with second place. Right now, Crocodile and Barney are fighting for the last spot in the round of eight. Can Barney stay alive for any nine Pokemon characters? We'll find out soon enough. And in just a word or two, we we'll have our only task for you. Let's find out who's going to get that chance, shall we? The first superstar to get a speed first is number six. So he moves all the way in first place. I think he got all of it on that one. And he's going to wind up in first place. So this race will go to the next best standing. As the next speed best we may buy, number seven. It looks like Falcon is going to hold off Bonnie for the win. Thank you, Bonnie, for all your support. But hey, we still have Mickey Mouse in contention. And Pokemon has seven out of eight participants in the round of eight. The round is going to happen when we come back. Do not go away. Alright, it is now time for the round of eight play. And our first round of eight semifinal will feature Saiyan Slash, who looks like a porcupine, and Swampert. The final evolution of Mudkip from the Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire games. It is best of luck to these two characters and please start the race! Here we go! So, who will be finalists number one? We'll find out soon enough. Right now it looks like Swampert has to lead and number one is going by. So he will be left behind in the crowd. Here comes the child bursting down the line. Looks like the Chow are closing in on each other. These two Chow are getting right behind. I think number 8 took a rest as well. Yep, yeah, number 8 took a rest as well. So he's going to join number 1 for dear life. As the first of his dying is Beepus is Sand Slash. He's going to be Swampert in the dust. And he is Byron's number 1. In the hundred thousand dollar charity check, Roger the Sand Slash on a job well done, and that's gonna be it. Thank you, Swampin, for all your support. He'll wind up in second place. So Sand Slash will represent as one of the finalists for the hundred thousand dollar charity check in a popular cartoon character tournament. And now let's see who will be finalist number two. We have Tutwig, the grass type starter from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, and we have Nidoran Male. 
one of the twin little mans. He is purple, by the way. Alright. Everyone is on the clock, so without further ado, let's have a challenge! Alright. So, finalist number two will also be a Pokemon. But who will be in it? We'll find out soon enough. Right now, it looks like number seven has the lead, followed by number eight and number five. It looks like Tetrick has the best position so far with sixth place. Tetrick and Nano Man may all push him off to the other side. And it looks like number seven is going to rest. That will give number eight command on the lead. And it looks like number five is going to join number seven for D Life. So numbers five and seven will be, will be left behind. As the first of the gets beat first is number two. And he will wind up in first place. That means it will go to the next back study. Right now, Nino and Mayo is leading Tetrick by a short distance. Let's see what happens here. As number five takes the next beam as Nino and Mayo holds off Tetrick by a short distance. And that's the finalist number two for the 100,000 on charity check. And we'll be right back with the second half of the round eight after this. So don't go anywhere. Okay, our third semi-final race will feature the Mighty Zorg taking on Trico. Let's see what happens here. We love to these two on the quest for victory. And let's fuck this place! Alright. So who's gonna be the next one in the final? We'll find out soon now. But now it looks like number 7 has the lead, followed by number 6. And Zorak has the best position so far, with third place. Zorak and Trico, bidding for, for the first spot in the $100,000 charity check final. Who is going to get it? We'll find out soon enough. And it looks like number 8 is going to rest as he gets the opening toss. He woke up immediately. He doesn't have to go to bed for long. As he takes the opening toss, and he's going to wind up in first place. So that means this race will go to the next back standing. As number two takes the next beamers, Trico moves on to the finals with second place. Number two came in third place. So Trico is finalist number three for the 100,000 dollars grand final. Thank you, Zora, for all your mission and support. <clears throat> Alright, only one spot to go. Mickey Mouse is the only non-Pokemon character left in contention for the 100,000 on Cherry Jack. Will he survive? We'll find out as he faces Crocodile in the mid-evolution of Toadow. Everyone is on a clock, and please start the maze! Here we go. So will Mickey Mouse survive, or will Crocodile complete the sweep for a Pokemon franchise? We'll find out in just a matter of moments. <coughs> so, <coughs> anyway, here comes the child busting down the line. It goes like Crocodile has to be following in a cross second by number six. Ooh, the competition is seeing up. And it looks like number two is going to rest. As the first superstar gets beat best, it's number one. <coughs> Here comes number one, and he is going to wind up in first place. That means the fourth and final spot will go to the next back standing. As I think it is out here behind this next beamers, it looks like Mickey Mouse is going to hold on Crocodile to keep the Disney franchise alive! What a deal! Mickey Mouse is in the final and we'll be right back with the 100,000 on charity check final after this! What a deal! Okay, so I'm pretty excited that Mickey Mouse has survived the hunt for the finals. But will he win it all in this final race? We're about to find out as he faces off with Sand Slash Nano Man Mail and Trico from the Pokemon franchise. You all really need a prize, so it's best of luck to these four on a quest for victory. The players are lined up and ready to go. Everyone is on the clock. So without further ado, let's have a challenge! Alright, as 
and just like that, Mickey Mouse has control of the lead. Can he hold on to the lead to see an upset from the Disney franchise? We'll find out soon enough. Looks like number two is in second place, and number eight is in third place. These three Pokemon and Mickey Mouse are all pushing to the outside. One of them's gonna wind up with a hundred miles an hour chimney check. Who will be the big winner tonight? We'll find out soon enough. As the first to decide gets beat by us on the hundred thousand dollar final, it's number seven. He's gonna lead the competition in the dust, and he will wind up in first place. So the hundred thousand dollar grand prize will go to the next back standing of the four, which is gonna be by the next commander's B bus. Sans Raj has done it! Sans Raj has won the Cartoon Calendar Tournament for the Pokemon franchise. Little Red Mail came in second, so he's winding up to $50,000. And Trico will wind up in first place, that means he will get $25,000. Thank you, Mickey Mouse, for all your support, and it's been a pleasure of having you here. So, we like to congratulate Sans Raj on his hard work and honesty. He is the Cartoon Champion, and he will receive $100,000 towards his charity. Thanks to everyone else who participated in our Cartoon Character Tournament. And that concludes our first ever mini-series. We hope you enjoyed our, our hard time looking up our, all the favorite celebrities, fighters, sports athletes, and characters who competed for $100,000 towards his charity. Join us next week as we visit some other countries qualifying for the 2015 Tournament Champions. And of course, all of your favorite superstars will return for a shot at the 2016 playoffs. So until then, keep on smiling and join us again for more Generations 2015. So long, everybody!